Today's story is called, When the Crocodiles Missed Dinner. The memory verse is from Psalm 150, verse 6. It says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Today's message is we worship God when we thank Him for His protection. Have you ever found a really good hiding place when playing hide-and-go-seek? A place that no one else would think of looking? That was the kind of place that Moses' mother was looking for. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, was worried. What can we do about these Israelites? He asked his advisors. There are too many of them, and they are so strong. They might even try to join with our enemies if there's a war and fight against us. It was finally agreed that Pharaoh should give an order. All Israelite baby boys should be killed. Jochebed and Amram were frightened. They did not want their baby to die, so they decided to hide him. For three months, they managed to hide baby Moses at home, but soon he began to make too much noise. Jochebed was afraid that the soldiers would find him. We'll put Moses in the river, said Jochebed. We'll put him in a basket covered with tar so that it will float. I will watch nearby and make sure nothing happens to the basket, Miriam, Moses' big sister, may have said. Jochebed carried her son to the river in his basket. She placed the basket into the water where the reeds grew so that the basket couldn't float away. Miriam watched the little basket to be sure her brother was safe inside, and Jochebed prayed that God would protect Moses. When Pharaoh's daughter came to the river to bathe, she saw the basket. What is that in the reeds? she asked her servants. Please, Bring it to me. Soon the basket was delivered to the princess. She lifted the lid and looked inside, and baby Moses began to cry. The princess smiled and said, This is one of the Hebrew babies. I will not let him die like the rest. I will keep him and bring him up as my own son. Miriam heard. She hurried to the princess and asked, Would you like me to find a Hebrew woman to take care of him for you? Yes, please. That would be good, said the princess. Miriam ran quickly and got her mother. When Jochebed arrived, the princess smiled. Please, take this child and take care of him for me, she said. I will pay you well, and I will send for him when he is older. Jochebed was so happy. They could keep their baby, and they would even be paid for taking care of him. This is a miracle, declared Amram. God must have a plan for this baby. Yes, Jochebed replied. We will teach him everything we know about the God of heaven. He must know all about God before he goes to live with the princess. The princess left Moses with Jochebed, and all the years they had Moses, Amram and Jochebed taught him about God and about his people. But the day came when Moses had to move to the palace. Moses learned many things there, but he never forgot God. When Moses was forty years old, he saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. He became so angry that he killed the Egyptian. The next day, Moses saw two Israelites fighting. He stepped between them and told them to stop. They turned to him and asked, "'Will you kill us too?' Moses became frightened. He had done a terrible thing by killing the Egyptian, and Pharaoh might have him put to death because of it. So Moses ran away to the land of Midian. God was still with him and protected him. God had a special work for Moses to do. Time in the wilderness of Midian would help prepare Moses for that work. God watches over you too. Do you think he might have a plan for your life?